And here locally, Riverside County is asking for more residents to get tested for coronavirus to help slow the spread and help the county emerge from the state's most restrictive purple tier. I spoke with Public Information Officer Brooke Federico. Brooke, it's good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me, Peter. The county just put out a release saying that more coronavirus testing is needed among residents. So tell us more about why this release came out and just how much testing has dropped in the county. Absolutely. So testing for active infections of coronavirus is a key component to how we identify where the disease is currently at in Riverside County. And then we can take steps to be able to stop it or contain the spread. So first and foremost, that's always our intention with testing to identify where the disease is and also identify where the disease is not. There's important surveillance that happens by being able um, to have everyone get tested. So with these active infections. They're also called PCR or swab testing. Riverside County was one of the leading counties in opening up community testing. And at the beginning of the pandemic, we were reaching regular daily um, volume of testing. We had at one point 4,000 people getting tested a day. And right now we're about half that. About half that. So not only is testing obviously important to figure out how far this virus is spreading, but also it affects our reopening process. Of course, so understandably, these two go hand in hand. To be able to contain the virus also means we'll get to a place where we can reopen. So by meeting certain metrics from the state and testing is a particular metric that they are reviewing, we will be able to get into the next phase of reopening. Okay, great. Um, and in the meantime, testing turnaround time has also been an issue with some of the residents here in the Coachella Valley saying that sometimes they've waited a week or more to get their test mm -hmm. results back, which obviously isn't very effective in containing the virus. Has this improved at all or is this still an issue? It's significantly improved. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, we know that when it takes several days to get test results, that does present a lot of problems with being able to identify and contain the disease. Currently testing uh, turnaround time for the results is two to three days. And anyone can get tested, correct? Or has the testing process changed at all in the county? Anyone can get tested. So that's with or without symptoms, that's with or without insurance. And regardless of immigration status, anyone can get tested. There will not be a cost to residents. If you do have insurance, we are required to attempt to collect from your insurance provider. But as I said, there would not be any co-sharing or co-payment to the person getting the test. And of course, if you don't have insurance or don't have a social security number, you can still get tested. We certainly encourage everybody to do so. And it's also important to mention that not all tests are the same. That's right. So there's several different types of testing around coronavirus. One is the PCR test, which it tests for active infections. Those are the swab tests that would be in the nose or at the back of the throat. These are the most sensitive types of tests, and these are the tests that are being performed at county facilities, state testing facilities, and several other areas in Riverside County. There are private providers who are offering this type of PCR or swab testing. This is the only type of test that counts in our metrics with the state. And so that in particular is why we're asking residents to get this swab test. Now, in addition, we know that there are other um, tests out there. There's something called antigen testing, which is re gives a rapid result test within a result within an hour. It's simply not as sensitive and um, the other test is the antibody test that's also being done. And that of course does not um, provide active infection results or information. So as of this time, the state is only allowing us to count our PCR or swab tests. And that's why we're specifically encouraging residents to get that type of test. It is of course the most sensitive test and we'll explain if you have an active infection. All right, Brooke, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Peter, have a good day.